the, the covering it from decades earlier. So mm -hmm. I want to be able to fix this now. <laughs> yeah, he did that quite a bit. Um, some of the things, that, you know, about the turn of, you know, he uh, drew the Long Ranger script, which I didn't realize at the time. At the same time, he's doing animation work. He's doing work in day and night, uh, doing stuff work like that. Um, he retired in his, in his somewhat, about the turn of the century, he said, he did the research, he retired about uh, year 2000, something like that. But he, uh, over the next several years, he got several awards. He got the Inkpot Award in 1997, the Will Eisner Award in 2009, the Cap Sturger Award in 2010, the Milk Milton Kniff Award in 2014, and the uh, Inkwell Award in 2018. <laughs> So he, he got a lot of work and accolades for the work that he did. But the one thing, you know, the, the thing I remember him doing when I was, he was working at uh, Marvel Productions, I don't know if I hear from there, but there were times when he was working that he wanted to take a sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> so he knew how to perfectly set himself up at the table, put the sofa all on the page, looked like he was thinking about it. And he went there, he was dead asleep. <laughs> Once we found it out, we, we were kind of like wanted the hallway to see what if he is to see. Away or not. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I had a drawing under his pencil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we put swap out the drawing and saw some pizza. Hey, I must have been asleep. Yeah, and, uh, that was classic for us. Uh, near the end, uh, I would take Russ out to lunch at his favorite place and it was a place near where he lived. Because he, he lived over in Van Nuys. Uh, the Robin Hood British Pub. Oh, yeah. And uh, that's where he used to go a lot. And all the employees knew him there, especially the women. <laughs> <laughs> and even though he was in his 80s, as soon as he saw the women, all of these stories and tons would come out. He would just come alive at, at that point. And uh, let's see what else I have here. It was. Uh, Oh, the last time I saw him actually was at a convention. Was that the, uh, I think it was it. Yeah. The night for Aerial Squadron? That's right. Yeah, yeah. Man, for, yeah. yeah for Roy Thomas. Not the last time I actually saw him was at that place. And, uh, you know, for me, he gave me a lot of, a lot of joy to be around this guy because he was like a, a big hit. You know, clearly. With that same tendency. tendency. And my, my favorite uh, way I described him was that he was like, the, uh, the oldest teenager I knew. <laughs> that, that's what he was all the time. All the way until he passed away. He always had that type of humor and uh, the way he cared for himself. And uh, they passed away on August 28th in a retirement community in Long Beach from cancer at about 91. And so what I would say to rest is like, rest in peace, <coughs> see you at the club. <laughs> Approaching our halfway point, uh, we'll have uh, one more name.